Hi, Nicole. It's Lisa. I was just going to give you a couple of ideas for some cool stuff you could do to make the things you've done even cooler using the Follow Me tool. Um, one of the things that I was suggesting in my comment was that a support for this object that's hanging out here in front of your piece of furniture would make it look more realistic and give you a little more things to play with with the Follow Me tool. You see I've already constructed a line here going down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle down here at the bottom and I'm going to make it just like a, a, a very tiny radius like half an inch. There we go. So it's a nice thin little bar. And then I'm going to go grab my follow me tool. And I'm going to zoom in so I can see my circle. I'm selecting my face to extrude and then I can just extrude it all the way up here up my line and all the way back. And then I have this cool little pipe thing that's holding it on. Right? See? And then I could you know, this one over here doesn't really need that much. So I could just make another one for it that's just a, using the push-pull tube to, to make a pipe, right? Let's grab this here face and go up. Now I need to zoom around to make sure that's where I think it is and it is not where I think it is. So now I can move it. I'm going to grab, uh, shoot, here we go. So first I'm going to select and then I'm going to move it. Select and then I'm going to click on intersect faces, reverse faces, select, all connected. And then I'm going to grab the move and I'm going to move it up. And so now it has a leg. And if I look at this in elevation and I find the right elevation, I can see that that actually does touch the ground, but I can arrange those in whatever way I want. One thing I was playing with showing you is that we can uh, make uh, bull noses and things using the push me tool. You can push pull tool. You can see here I just drew a circle on the edge of the bed and used the push pull tool to pull it across, and that that was okay except I forgot to edit the component first. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit this component, and I'm going to um, I'm going to get the circle. I like circles. Um, and I'm going to draw it tiny again here. Let's do 0.5 again. And let's zoom in. And now, let, let's see what if we can use the follow me tool with this this time. Because one of the things we can do with the follow me tool sometimes is follow one of these edges like this. It's not letting me, but this time if I use the push-pull tool, we can make that little edge along the top there, and, and that could be pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to uh, leave that alone, close the component, close the component. The other thing you could do, I'm going to close this component again. There we go. Now I've got it back. I knew that because it was happening here. This is just cut by virtue of the view. It's not actually changed. Um, so let's see here. What else can I show you? Here's another place we can play with that same game. Okay. The follow me tool will actually follow this one because it's one bigger thing, but you can see you can kind of bullnose the edge all the way around and that that gives it a different look and you could give a, all kinds of different shapes to it doing that uh, I section this is section cut by virtue of where the view is um, but you can see now that has just a nice little edge on it and you can make any kind of edge you want to okay that's just a couple of things you can use the follow me tool to do in modifying components and uh, in making things that look the way you want them thanks a lot bye